Hey, this is Zaf Levavi from LickinRef.com and it's time for another viewer request. And in this video, we're going to learn a classic. A finger style arrangement I've made especially for you guys and girls of Stand By Me, the classic Ben E. King song. This is a terrific song and the original uh, only contains a bass line and a melody line working together. So I've tried to keep the arrangement true to the original with a bass line and a melody line working together. So uh, first, I'm going to demonstrate it, I'm going to play it for you so you can hear how it goes and then we're going to jump right into the lesson, uh, break it down lick by lick with tabs on the screen and everything and I'm going to show you exactly where everything goes, which fingers to use, when, how and in what rhythm pattern. So um, let's play this and then go to the lesson. So it goes like this, enjoy. <laughs> Okay, so uh, if you don't know, this is one of the oldest four chord songs. Uh, it's a, C, A minor, F, and G. Okay? Um, and it's arranged in a very neat bass line. The bass line goes like this. C. And then a walking bass line up to C, containing G, B, and C three on the E bass, two on the A bass, and then three again on the A bass. Okay? And then a walking bass line, a descending walking bass line, down to A. So it's C, B, A, three, two, zero on the A string. And then G, A again. Okay, I like to bend it just a little. And then A, G, F, one on the E bass. Um, and then F, A, G. And then G, B, C again. Okay, so let's hear it all together. C, G, B, C, C, B, A. G, G, B, C. Okay, now without me talking. Okay, once you're done playing this once, the melody begins. Uh, using your pinky, play. Zero, three, five on the E string. Okay, you can slide up to the five. And then use your first finger to play the C bass. And then it's this. Zero and three on the E string. But along with these notes, the bass notes play as well. So it's G and B. So you play G with the open E string and B with the G note, the high G note, the three on the E string. And then you play C again. Okay? Keeping the G note ringing. 
Okay, so. Got it? C, C, G, B. And then C again. G, B, C. Okay? And then C, B, A. And then along with the A bass. So it's one hammer on to three on the B string along with the A bass with the C note. This is a C note. Okay? You play them together. And then open E string and three on the B string again. And then you play the G bass. And then the C note again. And then the A bass again. Okay? Okay? Again, this with the A bass, then 3 G, 1 A, okay, 3 G, 1 A, okay, or note wise D, G, C, A, okay, whichever version doesn't confuse you, so, or you can think about it as simple as G, a G chord, okay, G, A minor, because this is A minor, but then again, we're not playing chords here, per se, we're playing uh, a melody line with a bass line, so that's what I want you to, um, how, how I want you to think about this, as two separate melody lines, so, okay, um, it makes it easier to play, and then this, Okay, it's again um, one on the B string with the A bass, and then three on the B string with the G bass, and then open E string by itself, and then one on the E bass, which is an F bass. And then one on the B string. I like to play it with uh, my thumb. I like to uh, play bass notes with my thumb whenever possible because it keeps my fingers uh, free to play solos. Uh, but uh, this is a very, a relatively easy arrangement, so uh, you can bar it. It doesn't matter. Um, um, okay, if it's easier for you, don't, then just bar it. Okay? I like to use my thumb. Uh, so, A, G, E string, F. Okay, first the bass, then the B string. Both on one. And then the F bass again. Okay, keeping with the rhythm. And then these two notes together. One on both E bass and B string, and then open E string and A bass, and then three on the E bass and the B string, again a G chord. Okay, so it's okay F A B uh, G. I was thinking about the B string, so. Um, again, F, A and E, G, okay? First E and B, then A and E, then E and B again. And then this. This is the line, one, three, one on the B string, um, and you have to incorporate the the G, B, C line. So it's G with one, B with three, and both C notes, one on the B string and the C bass. Okay, and then G, B, C again. So from the top, C, G, B, C alone. Okay? 
The G and B are with the E and G notes. C bass. A. Okay. Um, no, it's. It's an A bass right there in the end. Made a mistake, played F by mistake. Um, this is one of those pieces which are actually easier to play uh, in full speed than to play slowly because when you play it slowly it gets really confusing um, okay so together with the A bass separate with the first the note then the bass note uh, then again first the C note then the A bass Okay, D, G bass, C, A bass. And then, okay, A minor, G, and then open E string, first F bass, then the C note. F bass again. And then F, A minor, G, okay, all together. One and one, zero and zero, three and three. And then G note, G bass again. And then all together. G with the C note, B with the D note, and both C notes. Okay, so all together, slowly, without any speech from me. play this twice uh, there's a change there at the end you play this and then you play the G and the B basses and with the C bass you play this okay five three on the E string and then okay This is 8 and 7 on the E string with the C note, the C bass, uh, this time on 8 on the E string. So, to keep the bass going. Uh, and then the, um, the chorus is pretty much the same thing up to the end. It's change is that at the end he says stand by me okay so this is the only new line you have to learn for the chorus so it's G B C open E string and then C bass again with three on the B string and then one okay play the C bass again with the D note. This is it. And then you just repeat to your heart's content. Uh, so you're basically done with the lesson, but before you go, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Uh, I upload a new lesson every couple of days or so and everything is completely free. 
Go download the tab from the website. And if you want to give something back, uh, there's a donation button. I'd be very grateful for any donation whatsoever. Uh, it will help me keep those lessons going uh, and sometimes upload more than one every couple of days. My goal is to upload a new lesson every single day. And the donations help a lot. So uh, I thank you in advance for any donation you choose to make. Now, go practice this. Get it under your fingers. This is a terrific song. It's a, it's a nice arrangement. I can't speak for my own arrangement, but I think it's a very nice arrangement. Um, have fun with this one. Let me know what you think. And of course, as usual, if you have any requests, write them down in the comments. Um, I'll add them to the list, the huge list of requests. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye-bye for now.